Cross Blues Driver BD2. One on the left, store stock right off the shelf. The one on the right has the Monte Ellums mod. We will do a white coily cable into a King B Relic Telecaster into a Dr. Z. Not exactly in that order, but that's what we'll do. Uh, I traded off my Keeley Blues Driver so I don't have it to compare. So please don't ask. Here we go. Alright, this is the Monty Mod and this is the standard clean signal. gain up, leave everything else the same at noon. the knob on the gain where it is, push the level up a little bit on this guy, he's not as loud. <laughs> Pull the gain down, volume all the way up, gain and level both, 9 o'clock.
Well, sir, there's a big difference between the two. At times, the uh, Monty seemed to have a little bit more, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, space between the notes. Just kind of clarity, I guess. But the Blues Driver really, I mean, it has a great tone all on its own. I can see why people dig that Monty. Alums, alums, however you say his name. You notice I'm just trying to say Monty and get away with it. But the Monty alums uh, mod is very cool and it's definitely louder than your stock blues driver and a little more clarity and I don't know what else something like that what do you think his nose is a powerful weapon he seeks his smells extremely well and he lets nothing slip him by hashish and coke and illegal smoke when he's on the job there's no escape hashish the drug sniffing